adventure begins when it goes off plan. Okay, that's like the definition of adventure. They're saying some of the storms that could fire up today could be a little bit more severe, but. What's up guys? Welcome to another Off-Road Place video and we are heading to Maris Adventure for the second annual Texas Toyota Takeover. We're excited um, and we all were on the same wavelength. Look like a bunch of Twinkies here. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, it's gonna be an awesome time. Weather might be an issue. Um, they've been having rain the last few weeks uh, over at Paladero Canyon. So we might have issues getting the RV in and all that stuff. So we'll just kind of see what awaits us. But for now, we're going to hit the road. So we'll see you there. So we came across a, just a standstill on the highway. So we found some back roads, some dirt back roads that should get us there. All right, so we are all on our third detour. There's three times on this trip where they closed the highway. This third time is due to a bad wreck. So we're having to reroute. They were gonna send us back to the next town that also had closures. So we're just taking our chances on some back roads and uh, they're gonna get around it and hopefully get there sooner. So, adventure has already been starting, already getting off road, and we're only, you know, halfway to Maris. So, Off-Road Place wasn't able to make the very first Texas Toyota takeover last year at Maris Adventure, so we aren't sure what to expect. But every time we come out to Maris Adventure, we find more reasons for wanting to come back. The Texas Toyota takeover is providing breakfast and dinners from Thursday night all the way to Sunday morning, so that'll give us more time on the trails and more time to grub and get to know some like-minded Toyota folks. Recently coming off an event like the Toyota Jamboree, which can cause sensory overload with the amount of Toyota rigs and people in one small place, we are expecting to have more of a low-key weekend with more time for potential slipping and sliding while capturing the beautiful goodness of Maris. automatic tire to platers. These are set to a specific PSI and you just stick it on the tire and it automatically deflates to the correct tire pressure. Are you a while to, to get yours set up? Uh, 
No, I had to make modifications. Okay. Because when you screw these on, how much you screw it on it affects how accurate it is. Yeah. So I put some uh, like automatic like quick connects. Yeah. So it eliminates that problem. It's sort of accurate. Nice. I still need to play with it. See, I knew you'd figure it out. I got so frustrated with those things. Yeah. After 20, 30 minutes, I'm like, ah, screw it. And yeah. Yeah. So we didn't get a chance to introduce oh. Abe here. So Abe reached out. He saw us on uh, TikToks and Instagram and uh, liked what we were doing and asked if he could join us. So he's going to be uh, interning with us and helping us with content and uh, and anything else that we need help with, basically. So happy to have. Yeah. Thanks for having me. Abe on board. Time. Yeah. Good, good weekend. Good muddy weekend. So he's. Uh, he doesn't have a lot of experience off-roading, so we're just going right into the deep end yeah. on a four-day adventure. Diving in. <laughs> <laughs> so head first, and, uh, and this one will be fun because, you know, it's a lot more unexpected with mud and all that stuff. So he's going to really get the full experience of overlanding and off-roading this weekend. Uh, so it's going to be a great time. Yeah, I'm ready for it. Awesome. Cool. We're here at Mary's Adventure. We're here at the test track. We're seeing how many people get stuck. and jando people just come out of freaking shit first two hours yeah. <laughs> oh, I did it. there's not even a single rock out here The amount of rainfall hitting Maris the past few weeks has made the test track more dicey. Luckily, for our entertainment, it doesn't take much to talk Brian into sending his GX.
mentioned earlier that we were expecting more of a chill weekend, but it didn't take long to see that people came out to play and break some stuff in the process. You know you're having a good time when there are multiple vehicles on standby with winch lines ready and waiting to pull out the next victim of the test track. People are almost flipping on the on the test track. <clears throat> this is, uh, well, you're one of the few that made them made through all the three obstacles. Well, they started pulling the winch line. That's when I made it. I said, "Hell no!" <laughs> Motivation. I'm real. not getting winched out. <laughs> yeah. So this time we actually are glamping a little bit. We're getting a little spoiled, and we have a uh, RV set up for the trip. Just because when we're shooting all the time and we're out all day, um, really the last thing you wanna do is set up rooftop tents and cook dinner and all that stuff, and then same thing in the morning. So we decided this time that we would actually rent an RV. Shout out to Michael with um, RVShare.com for this Mallard. So yeah, pretty excited about this and it'll be you know a little bit more enjoyable, especially with uh, storms and all that stuff coming. The rec center is the hub of Toyota Takeover. So this is where everyone congregates to eat meals, and this is also where all the rigs set up camp. So it's the happening place at night to hang out with the lights, music, and entertainment. Upon arriving at the rec center, the CEO and visionary behind Maris Adventure, Dirk Van Rienen, was quick to make sure everyone felt welcome. Oh yeah! Man, we love rain, especially in this part of the country, but man, we are thankful to have a break from the rain for a night. It has been raining like crazy, which, um, how many of you have ever kind of driven down the Salt Fork, like any one of the sections? Okay, it's quite a few. And it was like a foot to 18 inches of water just running down, we were just driving through the water and it was like so cool. So um, there's gonna be some mud on the trails uh, this weekend. Um, it's gonna be fun. Like how many of you are ready for an adventure? Yeah. Um, so day one has been awesome. We came out of the gate swinging with, I think that seven or eight recoveries on the test track within the first two hours of the Texas Toyota takeover, which is, <laughs> which is pretty, pretty awesome that people are bringing their A game and wanting to already test out stuff. And so now, now we're uh, just had some awesome dinner over there at the, the main uh, rec center at Maris. Um, had some grilled chicken and potatoes. And now we're back at the RV because we're going to get some warm shower and rest a little bit because we've got a full day of wheeling and capturing footage and all that stuff. So 
So, so far, man, it's been an awesome time and can't wait to see what tomorrow has for us. Thanks for watching another video of Off-Road Place. Make sure to like and subscribe to see more Off-Road Place goodness. Friday morning, we just got over here to the main rec center and had some awesome breakfast. And so now we're gonna have a little bit of, they're gonna do a crash course on recovery and then we're gonna have a driver's meeting and then we're gonna hit the trails. But as you can see, it's so foggy out here. So it's gonna be a pretty cool experience going down that drop zone, you know, not being able to see that far in front of you. The number one objection, uh, objective here is to keep all of you safe and uh, to have a good time. So have a good time, by the way, sometimes means that you're going to be soaking wet and stuck in a hole in the canyon. So that's also a good time, remember, because adventure <laughs> begins when it goes off plan. Okay, that's like the definition of adventure. So uh, just keep that in mind, but we do want you to be safe uh, for, uh, above everything else, okay? If you guys want to head straight down to Sagasaur and run um, Sagasaur, okay. like, uh, I would say like that's good. Uh, if you wanted to run Deep Creek, uh, we pre pre ran it yesterday. It's got a couple of really soft spots in it, so I mean, people are going to get down to the frame. Um, so just make sure that everybody's kind of got, like in this group, it's like, hey, have your recovery gear ready because like you're going to get stuck today at some yeah. point, right? It's kind of like a thing like that, but um, it's th there's just a couple of like super soft spots in there because it's creek bottom, things yeah. like that. But I mean, it's it's a really so, fun run. Right now, the storms are indicating that they're going to be west and north of us. So we're just kind of, we're maybe about 20 miles south of the line that's coming through. Okay. But I mean, that could change at any time. So, you know, should it start getting bad? Uh, the other thing with this group is uh, we do have kind of the back climb out. I don't know, if, have you been on the super secret climb out? No, sir, not <laughs> Wait, what? Did you just say super secret climb out? I don't know, if, have you been on the super secret climb out? No, sir, not Okay, <laughs> so. There's a super secret climb out? There's a oh, super oh, secret climb out. It's actually not for public use or even yeah. members or anything like Jonathan's that. It's, been it's private use, but uh, if good. we need to, we could probably get you guys out the back climb out if, if it starts getting bad. So, um, and, and we'll go from the top and kind of maybe lead you guys out on that. All right, so we're gonna do some dark blue runs because some of the blues are kind of turning into some blacks. So we're just gonna get it started with that and uh, we'll see how it goes. All right, now we're getting ready for the uh, drop in. Go ahead and switch over to four low. Make sure you leave just a little bit of room between you and the rig in front of you. There are two ways to drop into the canyon at Maris. The main entrance is called the Drop In, which has an amazing view as you wind your way down into the canyon. The second is called the Drop Zone, which is a one-way black rated trail into the canyon. Today, we are taking the Drop In as we hit a couple dark blue trails called Deep Creek and Sagasaur. The Drop In is also known to get slick when wet, so our trail guides will be keeping an eye on the weather. Every time we've visited Maris, the creek beds have always been bone dry, until now. Amarillo has had three weeks of record rainfall, which has made Maris more green and fertile than we've ever seen. 
This does create an unpredictable factor, however, because it's hard to tell what is dirt and what is quicksand. It didn't take long for me to get into a sticky situation. Not knowing where the deep mud is and not turning a corner with speed, I quickly became a sinking ship. Luckily, being my first time to have to get recovered, I had some experienced recovery help around me. minutes in and already got stuck having to get winched out. Once I got out of the quicksand, Brian became the next victim. Because there's so much water consistency in the mud, you can hear the suction strength making it hard to get free. Since Brian's GX doesn't have a front recovery point, we did our best to try to use a tow rope. Hold on. <laughs> 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 just just blow on it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we got enough of us all together. It's kind of tug of war, right? That's weird. Because they might have a snack spot. We're going to be out. And then I'll put the stuff back in. But after no luck, our fearless trail guide knew it would be best for Brian to winch himself out once he's tied to my vehicle, Lunar Trooper. And sure enough, the GX was able to winch out with little effort. The plus side is that we made it that much easier for the rest of the rigs to plow on through. All right, so we got most of the rigs through that first quicksand spot. It was most, my rear wheel was all in, all covered up. That uh, side of the rest of the rigs are coming through. But uh, you, you could start to see where all that rain is it's playing a factor with the soft silt sand that's now just quicksand. So, but hey, this is what we came here to do. How long have you had the horns on here? Hey Brian, you have my uh, soft shackle still? Yeah. I've had them on for about a month now. I put them on right before Jambo. Okay. You had them on okay. at Jambo. Yeah, that's where I remember seeing it, but I didn't know it was your rig. <laughs> Threw me off. 
Looks good. What's crazy is we were driving out here yesterday and we saw a C10 with horns on the hood and then we saw a uh, station wagon with horns on the hood. Oh really? That's how you know you're in Texas. I know. They're rowdy. Yeah. What do you think, man? It was fun. Yeah? No one else had to get recovered. All the suction was gone from the dirt. Just when I thought we were done with mud recoveries, the mud mayhem of Maris took one more victim, but not without making sure I that Van so. took a lot of Maris back with him. Oh, Lord. Ah, <laughs> I need my coffee. Yeah, we're good. Oh my gosh, man. MVP, Van. MVP. Redemption. mud behind us, we moved on to Sagasaur to discover some steep inclines and windy roads. And for a minute there, I felt like I was on a verdant Mars.
All right, we just stopped to have a little bit of lunch, have some Uncrustables, a little break, and now we're gonna keep on going. I think we're gonna hit the Middle Earth Trail. So as of as of right now, just had to winch a few had a few spots. We had to winch people out, but everyone has done pretty well. Did this happen recently or? Yeah, on this trail, yeah. Which I've ripped mine off on this trail too. Heavy, yeah. That's why mine's not on there. Uh. <laughs> What happened? That helps. I bought that Who's line of balance yeah. three times. Have you? Yeah. So I'm done. I'm just like, I'm not buying anything. So you know exactly the dollars and cents on it. <laughs> with Abe killing it with capturing content, I initiated the challenge to do a hand snatch landing of the drone. Well, on our way to hit the Middle Earth Trail, Rain started falling and word came down from the Marist management that we need to come back up the drop-in before the rain turns the drop-in into a slip and slide. After a few hours of rain, the skies cleared and we were able to join the rest of the crew and enjoy some Texas-style dinner. Wheelin' and trail recoveries are always fun and memorable, but it's also rewarding to get to meet other Toyota off-road enthusiasts and hear of their off-roading or overlanding adventures. Okay, so we got at least two, so that's a race, okay. <laughs> We had a, about three and a half, four hours of showers, which kind of put all the trail riding to a halt. Um, but luckily, it's, you know, weather's cleared up. It's beautiful out here. The wind's picked up. It's like 60 degrees. And then uh, we were able to have a great dinner with everybody. So it's been, man, awesome time so far that the, the whole uh, Toyota takeover. And uh, so we're gonna get up in the morning and do it all again, and hopefully it won't get rained out. So we'll see you then. Next time on Texas Toyota Takeover, part two. It's day three and we take the black rated drop zone down into the canyon to run some black trails. And we quickly find challenging conditions at every turn. Hey, all I hear is excuses. Oh, oh. I just want to see action. <laughs> We came to a, a no pass on the trail because part of the half of the trail just fell off and there's actually a hole underneath.